Hello my friends. I'm going to show you how to construct an amazing grow bed that needs minimal amount of watering. The grow bed is designed on two fundamental principles. The one is the arid system that was developed to grow plants in the desert where it's extremely dry and the other system is the German Hugel culture or hill culture system. The grow bed frames that I'm using is optional. You can do this freestanding. First I'm removing the mulch that was on my ground and now I'm removing the topsoil and I'm digging about a foot deep to a foot and a half deep and I'm setting this soil aside. This is going to be mixed with my biochar to make terra preta. With the hill culture or hugo culture system, if the soil is sandy, you can dig up to two foot deep. If it's clay soil with poor drainage, then you build your mound on the top of the soil. The desert or arid system was developed by an individual that did the observation in a desert where he saw plants growing where uh, no other plants would grow and the entire environment was sandy. So what he then did was wanted to find out why these plants would grow in that particular area. So he dug these plants up and found ancient tree roots buried in the sand and these tree roots as they rotted they became like sponges and they held a reservoir of water which kept the plants alive. So what we are doing here or what I am doing here is lining the bed of this grow bed with large chunks of log. Some of the benefits of this system is not apparently visible at least initially. One of the main reasons for this is to be able to extend your growing season through a drought. And in southern Florida, the winter time is a drought season. And with this system, you may never have to water your garden or rarely in extreme uh, drought conditions. Now the first year with this system, the wood as it decays is going to be nitrogen depleting. So for that reason, the soil that I'm going to be growing in will be an extra depth where I will be uh, putting the soil on about a foot deep. After the first year as it's rotting, then the wood will be nitrogen adding to the soil. And as the wood continues to break down, it will continue to this add nutrients into your grow system. It will take years for this to, to rot. Like I said, they found in the desert ancient tree root systems that was growing plants in the sand. After you fill the base with large chunks of logs, then you want to progressively use smaller pieces and here I'm sticking uh, smaller chunks of firewood in the voids okay. between the large chunks of look. logs. You will progressively uh, get smaller with the pieces to fill in all the gaps. Okay, you want to progressively get smaller and smaller. So what would go on next would be all the small branches and twigs. However, I burned it off. The mass of all this wood is now covered with decayed mulch. This will fill in all the little voids that appear between the logs, resulting in a solid mass of wood. This is my biochar. It's already been inoculated or charged. And it is a 50% mix of charcoal with the uh, mulch or compost, 50% compost. So to get approximately 10%, I need to have roughly, this is how I'm gonna mix it, use my shovel, 
I am going to use four shovelfuls of soil to an equal shovelful of charged biochar. So here's the method. One, two, three, four. garden like this. One, two, three, four. And one Woods to avoid in using in this bed would be cedar, black locust, walnut, any treated woods, and woods that may sprout when buried. Cedar wood doesn't want to decay well. Black locust also doesn't decay. Black walnut has uh, inhibitors to other plants. Uh, it will restrict the growth of the other plants. And treated woods would have chemicals. Same thing with wood that has been painted or stained. After filling the grow bed with the terra preta, I'm then adding biochar to the top as top dressing. And the main reason for this is because of potential nitrogen depletion of the buried logs. And this will put the nutrients uh, close to the surface where the plant's roots will be. You can also mix in diametaceous earth to be a natural pesticide. Well here's the grow beds and it took less than one day of work I would say about uh, five hours and that includes wheeling about um, 10 loads of mulch to put around the frames and the growing medium is at least a foot thick these were constructed from 2 by 10s um, and the uh, soil, the terra preta, has been mounded up over top and I know there will be settling as the uh, wood inside and the mulch that I put on top of the logs as it rots. Uh, there will be continu continuous settlement in there. and. Uh, of course, as I grow into this, I'll continuously add uh, new biochar um, or terra preta. Well, now it's time to start planting. Thanks for watching, my friends. Bye-bye.